there. Well, it's very humid to start out the day. So far, though, we haven't seen enough fog to cause any major issues for the morning commute. Just know it could be there in spots, and there's certainly just a hazy look out there uh, given the high humidity. Temperatures are starting out in the low to mid 70s. We're at 75 downtown, 71 in Jarrettsville, and Frederick at 72 degrees. But this afternoon, we scale up the heat just a little bit more, so the heat index likely to be a pretty excessive across the entire metro. Heat advisory has been expanded. Yesterday, it was just in the metro areas, or at least in the heart of the city. Today, it could include anywhere from Howard County through Baltimore County, the entire eastern shore, down through D.C. as well. Basically, by lunchtime, that heat index will make it feel like it's at 100 degrees, and then through the afternoon, it'll near 105 and maybe even up to 110 in spots. Places like the eastern shore tend to see the highest uh, heat indices in this kind of situation because they're that much more humid. Temperatures should actually be in the 90s today, 95 for the Baltimore Metro, 97 for DC. Even Hagerstown will be in the low 90s this afternoon and again at about 10 degrees. So it will feel like it's close to 100 even as you start to head into the mountains. Now we're starting out with dry weather. There are some clouds in place, but we had some big thunderstorms in the area yesterday. So the ground is soggy. We're starting out humid and we could see a few more thunderstorms later on. Basically, the front that came through yesterday is now moving back up to the north and it's going to wiggle around for the next couple of days until it finally starts to clear the area. Until it does that, we have a chance for thunderstorms. Later on, a marginal risk for severe weather, so that basically means a few areas could also see damaging winds like we saw yesterday, but it does seem like the more enhanced risk, or at least a slight risk for severe weather, happening towards the Pennsylvania line and up towards Pennsylvania as well. So that's where you'll likely see more reports of wind damage out of these uh, next round of thunderstorms. And they could be coming in scattered about later today and through the evening as well and uh, these could also bring some very heavy downpours. Tonight, maybe a thunderstorm left over. Tomorrow, there could be a thunderstorm as well. Even on Thursday, there's a slight chance for that. But the temperatures fall back this week. We're back to the low 90s tomorrow, upper 80s on Thursday. We stay in the 80s this next weekend, and it looks like uh, more thunderstorms later Sunday.